So imagine this, you're not much of a fan of soccer, but you're a professional photographer and you're fascinated by how the game brings people together, or at least inspires them. But there's only one problem, you're not in South Africa, so what do you do? Well, if you're Joseph Howarth, you hit the streets in Toronto with your camera and just follow the noise. Our very own Connie Walker has his story. Joseph Howarth isn't really a soccer fan, but every four years, his life is consumed by the beautiful game. What's going on in the game, I'm not really sure. But what's going on in the fans' heart is what really I feel during the course of the game. During the World Cup, Howarth travels all over Toronto to catch nearly every game. But he's not interested in the performances on the screen. He's interested in the drama in front of it. It's about the fans, it really is. I love how proud people are of their country, their team, their sport. That's what really, I love, I love being a part of each of the communities. It's amazing, it's amazing. So during the World Cup, he's on a mission. His goal is to photograph fans from all 32 countries cheering on their team. It's his way of seeing the whole world in his home city. But the way I see Toronto is that I can travel around the world during these two weeks, going to all these different countries, and I can go like today, I went from South Africa, I'm going to go to Uruguay this afternoon, tomorrow I'm going to Nigeria, and I'm going to Slovenia on Sunday, and that's how I feel. I feel like I'm going to visit those communities all around the world. Howard started his project in 2006 and is back at it again this year. But whether it's three buddies in their living room or thousands of people watching in a huge stadium, for him, it's all about capturing moments. One of my favorite photos is definitely the Ecuadorian. I have a photo of this Ecuadorian family. And there's a woman, and she's uh, very proudly clapping there, and she's, like, really excited. And it must be her husband, two people down. He's like, no. And I, I, I love the juxtaposition, because I think she's just like, yay, you did a really good job. Nice try. And he's like, oh, no, you should have tried harder. And, so, and I love that juxtaposition in the same photo. It's pretty cute. Yeah. I remember I was here in this bar, um, it was an England game versus Sweden. I happened to get a shot right when they had scored and you just see this sea, like it's sort of like a wave of hands all going up and you just see this window behind and it was definitely one of the moments that I think captures the, the chaos and the fury that goes on during when a goal happens. But it's the more intimate venues that Howarth remembers best. Being in someone's house, it was just me and one fan watching the game. And I, th that's a memorable experience, to see this one person sitting there in front of a television watching the game. And just to sort of capture that loneliness, but also they were connected to their home country and connected to the people in the game. Like, that was, that was a totally different experience. So from the 5,000 to the one fan, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty amazing. And why is it important for you to take part in this? Well, it is a somewhat selfish project. I do love, love the enthusiasm and the passion that comes out of these games, and I find it contagious. That would have been a good photo. That would have been a good example. And although he may never get to travel to all of the countries in the World Cup, with every game he photographs, he gets a little taste of the hearts and minds of their fans. Great shots, I love that. Okay, make sure you stay with CBC Television for all your World Cup action. Catch the game between New Zealand and Slovakia. Bright and early tomorrow, have it with your breakfast at 7.15 a.m. Eastern. Then at 9.45 Eastern, it's the Ivory Coast versus Ronaldo and the rest of the uh, Portugal squad. 2.15 Eastern, mighty Brazil squares off. This will be an interesting one against North Korea.